pet owners walking their mascot to an animal clinic are probably familiar with veterinary technicians. Vet techs are the ones who take care of a pet visiting the vet. You can think of them as the nurses in a veterinarian's office. Miami-Dade College's Medical Center campus offers a program to students desiring to enter this field. We had a chance to take our cameras inside a live animal lab to learn more about this promising program. All right, guys, let's rock and roll. Today we're going to have the veterinary technology students performing dentals. Um, this morning we'll be doing dental on a little chihuahua. This afternoon we'll be using Clifford. The duties of a vet tech vary from learning how to take blood samples to preparing the animals for various procedures including dental cleaning. Students are also learning that some animals need an increased dosage of tender loving care before their procedure, just like Cookie. Cookie's responses are, um, you know, typical. She's nervous, she's scared, something's going on. So, and also the breed, she's shaking a little. Sometimes that throws you off, that it's not necessarily like fear. Well, because dogs do not sit with their mouth open like we do, we actually have to put them under general anesthesia. So initially we start at the beginning, we do the physical exams, we pull blood, we do pre-anesthetic profiles, we place catheters, we, they calculate the um, drug dosages of the pre-anesthetic drugs to help relax them, and there's also a pain drug in there as well in case there's any pain associated with the procedure. Then we place an IV catheter so they get fluids during the procedure. Um, we calculate the drug needed to induce anesthesia and un, um, relax them enough to place an endotracheal tube when they then go on general anesthesia. And we monitor them with an ECG and a pulse oximeter. They perform the dental prophylaxis. They clean, they polish, and protect with fluoride. And then we wake them up. A big misconception about kennels is that it's unsafe or it's animal cruelty. But it's not. It's safe. And think of it as a waiting area before the doctor gets to see the dog. Christine Rincon and Daisy Benitez, current sophomores in the program, tell us that the information they are currently learning is already crawling over to their everyday lives. All the information that I've learned has helped me not only in uh, the field that I want to work in, but in life. Because people ask me, people with dogs ask me certain questions, you know, Christy, you know, what type of dog should, food should I buy? What can I do for fleas? Um, you know, my dog is acting, you know, tired today, what should I do? And I always, it's, it's always a simple pr answer for me because of all the stuff that I've learned here. I can educate people on how to solve simple problems so that they don't have to go to um, the vet and spend terrible amounts of money when it becomes too late. I started working recently at a clinic and I was alone out in the tech there and I was alone by myself and the doctor was out. And one of our patients, one of our boarders, started going pretty much into like respiratory arrest and started, you know, panting. And I was very nervous. I, you know, first thing you do is check on the patient, call the doctor. What do they, what do they want you to do? And all the things that he wanted me to do, put in a catheter, push fluids, I learned here. So I was nervous that the situation was happening, but I was also calm in the fact that I've already learned this. And my teachers have, our, all our professors have prepared us that I know I can handle that situation. The veterinary technology program is not a prereq for veterinary medicine. The courses currently available at the Medical Center campus will not transfer to another college. However, students who think they want to become vets can get their AA and then attain a Bachelor of Science in either micro or chemistry or something along those lines. To find uh, qualified students who once they get into the program accept the amount of medical knowledge that they actually have to learn, that's the problem. A lot of people think they're just going to come in and play with the dogs. And unfortunately, they are the veterinarian's right-hand person. So um, more information is required, basic information on anatomy and physiology and pharmacology than they initially uh, realize. So that's usually where we lose most of our students. But hopefully, if we accept a smaller class, then we'll graduate a larger class. <laughs> 
The Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts a 41% job growth for veterinary technicians by 2016. This will be due in part to affluent pet owners looking for intensive care treatments for their animals. Someone that's not sure what they want to do. Um, I definitely would say, you know, the first thing you do is you call up the office, find out information about it. First thing you need to know is get a knowledge about the program. Um, the, by personal experience, that's what I did. I just happened to hear about it, kept it in the back of my mind, and went back to it later. I looked up online, went up to mdc.com, and um, you know, you, you kind of look up information. Also, you get to speak to the professors. They're always on hand. And like me, I can honestly be one of those people that say, with zero experience, scared to even approach like the cutest puppy because I don't know, I wasn't sure, quite sure where I fit in. Definitely the knowledge that you get here will prepare you that when you graduate, you're ready to do the job that you're being trained to do. Anyone wanting to embark in the veterinary technology program should visit www.mdc.edu and leap onto the School of Allied Health on the Medical Center campus page. There you'll find the details you need to enter this program. For Miami-Dade College in Focus, I'm Walter St. Flair.